Hey everybody, it's been a long time since I've practiced or taught yoga and it's time that I get right back into it. So welcome to my yoga diary entry number one. Let's start in a sitting position on a mat. If you don't have a mat, then maybe you have a comfortable blanket or just a really comfortable floor. So crisscross applesauce. Let's just start in a seated position with your spine straight. Think about drawing a really straight line from the top of your head, the crown of your head, all the way down through your spine and down through your butt into the floor. You can place your hands on your knees or you can rest them in your lap, whatever's comfortable. And let's take a few minutes, maybe a few moments to land. As we're landing in our seated position, we're just letting our breath ease, slowing it down. We're bringing our attention to the present moment and what's happening in our bodies right now. And then slowly, we're gonna rock forward, leaning forward, just a little bit. And if your eyes are open, you can still keep it closed for this. If your eyes are closed, you can keep them closed. And then start to lean back just a little, feeling your abs start to hold you up. They're contracting. And then back to center. And then let's take it to the right. Start leaning to the right. Nice and easy. Maybe your head falls. And then let's go to the left. Nice and easy. Your head can fall. Maybe you're feeling some tension in your neck. And then let's make some circles. Doesn't matter which direction you start. I'm going counterclockwise. Maybe that's my subconscious telling me I need to unwind some things. And then whichever direction you're going, let's switch and just circle around nice and gentle. Getting everything loose. And then come back to center. And open your eyes if they're closed. Place your right hand down to the right side and reach that left arm over. Give it a big stretch. Fingers are open, spread wide, nice and active. And then let's switch sides. Left hand down, right arm reaches over. Your left elbow is bent, nice and generous. Feeling that stretch on the right side. And then let's bring it back to center. Stretch forward, oh yes, head, drop your head, and wiggle your neck a little bit, nice and easy though. Taking everything slow. Let's take a deep breath here and exhale out loud, as loudly as you can. So inhale, exhale. Nice and audible. One more. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale. And then slowly walk your hands to the right. Oh yeah. And then slowly walk your hands to the left. Feeling that stretch. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Bring it back to the middle. Let's do a couple of shoulder rolls, real slow, drawing your shoulders up and back and down. So shoulders come up, they go back and go down. And then switch up, forward and down. Shoulders go up 
forward and down. All right, let's go ahead and take a child's pose. Child's pose, knees go wide on the mat. Your toes are touching behind you if that's possible in your body. And then reach forward. And if you can, place your forehead on the mat. If you can't, you can always put a pillow under there or a block or something to help you make that distance uh, so that you can keep your forehead relaxed on the surface. Letting everything relax so you don't have to hold your head up. And then make this an active pose. Spread your fingers wide, press into your palms, into your finger pads, into your thumbs. And feel how that changes in your shoulders. Maybe it even pushes your hips a little bit back. And then we're going to take our left arm and put it underneath our right arm, left temple to the mat. not dust very well under here. And then switch sides. So right arm under, right temple to the mat. I did not dust very well under the bed either. And then bring it back to center and walk yourself back up, downward facing dog. So hands are wide on the mat, feet are hip width apart. And if you shifted forward, you'd get into a high plank, high push up position. So check your spacing. Toes are both pointed at 12 o'clock and your index fingers are also pointed at 12 o'clock. Bend your knees generously. Press into your hands, press into your fingers. Fingers are still spread wide, lots of activity in your hands. That helps protect your wrists. And then walk your toes to your fingertips. Hang in ragdoll, so feet are hip width apart. That means usually you can fit both of your knuckles, your hands between your feet. You're gonna grab opposite elbows and just Chill, relax, bend those knees, drape over, relax your head. You can gently shake it out. You can shake it no. You can shake it yes. And then release your fingers down to the mat. Kind of get your bearings again. Get your balance. And slowly raise up. The head is the last thing to come up. And we're going to reach all the way up to the ceiling. Oh my goodness. Reach all the way up to the ceiling. And then drop down to high push up. High push up. You can also do this on your knees. High push up to low push up. Oh gosh, it's been a long ass time. All right, let's drop all the way down to our bellies. Bring our hands to either side of our rib cage. Bring our elbows in. And then just do a little lift of the chest, little baby cobra. Shoulders out of your ears. Press that belly into the floor and breathe. And push yourself back up. And we're gonna come around to seated with our legs extended. All right, so for this one, we're gonna reach all the way up to the ceiling, straight spine. Our toes are gonna point toward our face. Feet are flexed. We're starting to lean. We're going to start leaning forward, keeping that straight spine. You might actually not go very far. That's okay. You can get a little bend in your knees. 
make it more comfortable. It's okay if you don't go very far. Just find where you can go. And then hang out. Just one more breath here. And round your spine, point your toes. And it doesn't have to be a hard point of the toes, just kind of like relax your feet, rounding the spine. And then come up, bring that left foot in. Same thing, right toes are pointed towards your face, straight spine. Start leaning forward. See where you can go. Keeping that spine straight, right toes pointing toward your face. And don't use your hands to pull too much. You just want to let your body go where it's comfortable. We're not forcing anything. Your hands are just here kind of as balance. Kind of directing where you want to bend. And then round your spine, point your toe. And slowly come up, switch sides. So your right leg is in, left toes are pointed toward your face, straight spine, Reaching up and then start to bend over. Might not go very far. That's okay. Hands are here just to kind of guide you, but we're not pulling ourselves down. Let your body tell you how far you can go today. And then round your spine. Point those toes and hang. And then start to walk yourself up. Stretch both feet out for a minute. Let's point our toes, pull them back. Point our toes, pull them back. Point, pull back. Last one, point, pull back. Then take your feet a little bit wide on the mat and circle your feet. And then circle them in the other direction. Today's goal is just a little bit of stretching, a little bit of getting my body warmed up and used to stretching. So we're taking it nice and easy. Let's go ahead and lay back down for bridge. So for bridge, we're gonna bring our ankles to our fingertips. So that you can graze the back of your ankles with your fingertips just a little bit. Feet are gonna be hip width apart. You can use your hands to kind of feel where they are. Toes are pointed away from your head. Okay, so the storage of your phone ran out, but I deleted some videos so I can record the end of our stretch. All right, where were we? I think we're here, feeling for the back of our ankles. Feet are hip width apart, all right? And then we're gonna lift our hips, bringing our shoulder blades a little bit closer together under us so it's easier to grab our hands. Press into your feet, breathe. And keep your gaze up to the ceiling, keeping your head and your neck straight. Press into those feet. One more breath here. Release your hands. Slowly come down and hug your knees into your chest. You can rock side to side if it feels good.
and then bring your feet down and take your left ankle and place it on your right knee. Bring your hands behind your right thigh and start pulling your right thigh toward you. Flex both of your feet so that your toes are pointed toward your knees. So your left toes are pointed toward your left knees and your right toes are pointed to your right knees. And then if you need to wiggle around, get comfortable, you should be feeling a stretch right here in your left butt cheek. This is really great for your thigh nerve. And then no pull on your leg too much. We don't want to force anything. We're just using the weight of our hands behind our right thigh to let gravity do the work. And then bring it all down and switch sides. So right ankle on top of left knee. Bring your hands behind your left thigh. Point those toes. So right toes pointed toward right knee. Left toes pointed toward left knee. And then let gravity do the work of stretching. You should be feeling this kind of like in your right butt cheek. And breathe. knees into your chest again, rock it side to side, and then rock it back and forth, all the way up to seated. All right, let's extend our legs. Point our toes, and just lean forward, and then bring it all the way facing forward cross applesauce again. Straight spine. Let's bring our right hand to our left side of our head. And don't pull, we're just using the weight of our arm to help us stretch our neck. Bring your left shoulder down and then relax into that stretch. And then switch sides. So left arm on the right side of your head, bring that right shoulder down, relax into the stretch, just breathing, letting it happen. And then both hands in your lap, let's bring our neck forward, drop your head, chin to chest. Slowly bring your head up. Thank you guys for joining me for yoga today. And you're my accountability buddies. So expect another video next week. See ya.